so a lot of people would say that baseball would be America's first sport. It's known as the pastime, but that would be wrong because lacrosse has been around since the early 16th century. It started with Native Americans who called the sport Danawu Wusati. One of the oldest sports in North America, there is evidence that a version of lacrosse originated in what is now Canada as early as the 17th century, not the 16th century. It was played throughout modern Canada, but it was adopted southern, and it, it, it's the toss-up either or it's where it started. And then the Mid-Atlantic Seaboard and the American South kind of picked it up as well. Um, traditional lacrosse games could hold anywhere between 100 to 1,000 men from opposing tribes. They would just basically run not like a standard sport, but they would just sit there and kind of just toss around their ball. It wasn't like standard lacrosse with a goal at all. They would tr try to throw wooden balls like three inch in diameter at the bottom of a stick. And if they would hit anywhere between the middle line and the top line, it would be a goal, what it would be today. And they were made out of just straight wood. So imagine, I mean, a plastic rubber ball hurts enough, but they were throwing three inch balls of wood at you. And it's always been that kind of intense contact sport it is today still. These are some early pictures. Like that's basically what it would be. I don't know which one is the laser pointer, but that's like a thousand men right there, like just running around with these kind of sticks right here. And that's like a huddle and that is a not as old as this, but this is like eighteenth century right here of lacrosse and they still have like what look like butterfly nets as their sticks. Um, becoming a Western sport in 1834, a team of Kofnigawa Indians demonstrated lacrosse in Montreal. And this guy, William George Beers, who was a dentist, was just dumbfounded. He'd watched soccer his whole life. He watched a little bit of baseball. But this sport, he said, is just very pretty to watch. And he was taught by this tribe how to play lacrosse. And that's basically where the modernized version would come out, would be around this time period. Um, it's always been classified as too violent no matter where you go, like even up north they try to up the rules and up north is where lacrosse really originated in America. Florida's pretty new to lacrosse and Brevard County Public Schools still have problems with lacrosse. Every year they put it up to debate whether they're going to keep it or not, like private schools are the only ones around here who used to have it until I was a freshman, so five years ago. That's when it first came to Brevard. Um, development of the equipment, these are all older sticks right here, and they were made out of straight wood, bamboo wood mostly, and even up until the 80s, people in college, big athletes, were basically whacking you with completely wooden sticks, and they didn't have as much gear. This is like a modern lacrosse stick, it's made out of normally titanium, not titanium, but like platinum alloy and other stuff, and the heads are a little more easier to catch, you know, more precise when you're shooting. Um, this was a Sports Illustrated article. This is kind of like what gear used to be. Not really all that protective. Helmet's a little weirder. It's got that big stick. And that is modernized right there. That is everything that you would wear today. Um, lacrosse today, it starts with a face off in the middle, kind of like hockey. Two guys go up at each other. And there's two goals set up on each side, 11 players on each field including the two goalies, and then you split into three positions, defense, attack, and midfield. There's numerous contact rules. You can't cross-check, like completely whack someone. You know, they try to keep everyone safe, but there's still plenty of injuries. It's really hard to explain if you've never seen lacrosse, like how it really goes, but I do have um, a video somewhere. Yeah, quick one. But I have a video for you to show you what lacrosse really looks like. I can look at it. There Just was, click your link. I think those were my references. Just click your link. This is like a reference, not the, uh, oh. uh, this one, yeah. There was a, there's three brothers who went to Albany University and they are very well known because they are actual descendants of Native Americans and uh, they all three played um, at the same school at the same time. And they are probably three of the best college players that have come out of lacrosse since Jim Brown. I don't know if anyone knows who Jim Brown is. But 
this is what lacrosse really looks like modernized. <laughs> Thank you. 